Hi guys and welcome back. First off, I have to give a really quick obvious apology for my voice. I It's been a really long time since I've gotten a video out and I've been wanting to get this video out for weeks now. And we're just working with what we've got, which is this voice. So I am very sorry for that. This is the best I can do, but I do really just want to get this video out. I want to talk to you guys about art again. I really, truly miss that. So we're going to push ahead. We're going to we're just going to keep on moving. We're going to move forward, make more art, make more videos, and uh, and deal with the scratchy voice. But today, I just want to talk a bit about the flow of creating art, how how the pleasure and the enjoyment can come, and it can be so high. It can feel incredible and amazing. And then whether it's something that happens within our art or it has not seemingly no trigger at all or maybe it's something in our life it can fall that enjoyment and it can be very difficult to to find pleasure in creating art and that's where I feel like this last year has been for me it's been a really really difficult year in my personal life and that's that's deeply impacted my artwork and my desire to make art, that love and that joy was just kind of sapped in a lot of ways from a lot of places in my life. And, and I'm, I'm really missing that. So today, I just want to talk a bit about some of the things that I'm going to try for the rest of the year to try to, to boost that joy and reconnect with that that pleasure that I get from creating artwork. So this is uh, not like a tried and true, These this is how you do it kind of a video. This is more of a, uh, hopefully a morale boost for myself and for anyone who might be going through a lull as far as you and your relationship with your artwork. So, so yes, hopefully this video is just kind of a get our spirits back up and let's move forward and find a way to find that love again, because that's one thing that never left me during this year is the desire to make art. I wanted so desperately to make it. It's just the, the follow through just was lacking. I, I had a lot of reasons why I wasn't able to have the time to do it, but then I also didn't have the energy or the heart to do it. So anyways, yes, my goal for the rest of the year so the next couple or month and a half, I guess at this point is that I want to do a couple of things that I'm going to talk about to hopefully stoke those flames. And then moving on into next year, I ideally would love to be able to be back at a place where I'm just reconnected with making art again. So let's talk about some of the the plans that I have for the rest of the year. The first thing is super practical, very, very important though, is that if it's been a while since you've drawn, and it's been a while since I've drawn to the level that I usually would be drawing, then our hands are going to be rusty. The physical act of drawing is going to be something that we're just not as good at. Our bodies really are very good at adapting to what we need at that time and what we're doing at that time. So I feel that so acutely, even just like a couple of days away from drawing, I can feel that my hand feels stiff when I sit down to draw. I, uh, I'm not as, it's not as easy for me to be able to take what's in my mind and put it down. So, so I know, I know that I am very, very rusty. My muscle memory of creating art and making lines and everything involved with that physically is just, it, it's out of practice. So, I want to start making that a habit again, making a space in every single day where I can sit down and I can actually just exercise my hand, exercise my brain in that way and get get that part back up to where it needs to be. Again, I'm so sorry for my voice. It is so crackly right now. <laughs> so to keep it really simple so that it'll be easy for me to say, yes, I did that today. It's done and it served its purpose. I have decided to set aside time to figure draw every day. The reason why I like to do that is figure drawing is something that is always going to benefit my artwork. I love drawing figures in my work. So I know that getting more practice and skill in that is something that I'm always going to draw from it to put into my final work. So it's always going to be beneficial. So it will be easy to convince myself that it has value. And then beyond that, it's very easy to be able to say, I know exactly 
what I'm going to draw today. I know the subject. I just have to sit down and pull it up. And also when I am figure drawing, it feels like such a different mind space than what I'm like sketching for creative ideas. I'm trying to come up with, with concepts and ideas for pieces in the future. But when I am sitting to just create um, figure drawing from reference, I find that it is just so much easier to convince myself to sit down and do it when I'm not feeling like creating art because I don't have to come to the table with, with that energy, with that excitement, with, with uh, creativity in me. I can just sit down and pull up a piece. And also if it turns out bad, the act of drawing is still there. My hand is still moving. It's still warming up. I'm still moving those muscles. I'm still getting my hand warmed up. I'm still getting better at that. And I'm getting getting myself further down that path. So so it'll be hopefully very easy for me to say, if I sit down and figure draw, no matter what, even if it looks bad, even if I'm not feeling it, the end result is what I want it to be. I'm going to get practice in my hand and I'm going to get better because of it. And another side to that, I am definitely someone who really thrives off of checking things off. So checking the box off and doing a certain amount of time figure drawing that is so easy to quantify for me to be able to sit down and check it off of my to-do list and say, I accomplished something today and it felt good. And that uh, I think is really helpful to understand how you yourself get energy and excitement for moving forward. For me, it really is making lists, checking things off and and feeling good about progress in that form. The next thing is something that I've really wanted to do for a very long time, but I keep neglecting. And now is the perfect time where I feel like in a lot of ways, I'm starting several steps back with my with my own motivation, with my own creativity, with my ideas. I feel like I need to like rebuild that again. And the thing that I, I really want to be doing is I want to study artists. And I mean, this definitely includes looking at artwork that is current and finding artists that are currently creating artwork that I love. But what I'm really lacking is looking back into history and studying artists that have inspired me in the past or have inspired artists that have inspired me and kind of going down that path. There's just this incredible world of art out there that I haven't looked at in a long time or haven't even looked at ever. And there's so much that can be learned from studying artists of the past, from finding how they did something technically, but also get inspiration for the artwork that I'm doing and and find what lit a fire for other artists. I, I am just so excited to do this more because it is something that just feels like the more I do, the more I'll have in my mind. So the more that I study other artists, the more that that'll be living inside in in my brain when it comes time to sketching and thinking about why do I want to create artwork, I can have more to draw from. And that's something that I have been really thinking about and struggling with is uh, trying to figure out like how why am I making art? What is the value of it in the world as well as for myself? And and that's been something that's been a, a real struggle for me. And as far as like building up the motivation to actually create it is I want to feel like I'm making something that has meaning and value and purpose. And I have found that when I'm looking back at these truly inspiring, emotional, beautiful works of art in the past, that that alone is something that when I marvel at that, when I can observe that, I feel in that moment that that is so valuable. So if I can find a way to channel my own emotions and thoughts and myself really, my what what makes me me into my artwork, that's something that has value alone. So So I guess all that to say is, there are so many things that I can gain from studying artists of the past. And a big one is just being able to reconnect with the desire to create artwork 
observing more beauty in your life, looking at artwork created by other artists, it can only be a benefit. It can only be good. And I am just so excited to do that, to look and slow down and enjoy artwork from other artists again. And I think the final thing that I'm going to focus on for the year, for the rest of this year, is I want to find ways that I can make art that's just for fun. When I look back at my childhood and my teenage years, I was just so excited about making things. I loved putting my creative spin on as many things as I could think of. I loved making things with my hands. I love making little clay figures and painting on stuff and and using new mediums and exploring. And that has basically left my life. Basically, all that I do creatively is what I would consider professional. I sit down and I try to do the uh, the most professional thing every time. And I feel like I don't have any extra time or energy to put into things that are not in that line, in that pursuit. And I just want to be able to have fun again. I want to be able to make things that are meant to meant to be enjoyed and enjoy the process. I want to make gifts for my family members and I want to make my home more beautiful by finding ways to just put some creativity, some art into it. So so yeah, I would like to do that. I would like to try new mediums. I want to sit down and just have fun. But um, yeah, <laughs> wow, my voice is really starting to go. So again, I am so sorry for that. So I figure we'll just go ahead and wrap up here. But I would say that the end of this year, I just really want it to be a time for healing, <laughs> apparently physically and emotionally and artistically, but but I'd like it to be for healing and recuperation and reconnecting with that artist that that I know is is in there. And and I just I feel so excited and I, so in love with art still. I just I can't wait to to continue moving forward. And I, I think that that's something that the older I get, the more I can see it is that life and art, it's a very cyclical. I have times where I feel so inspired and this high for creating artwork. And then, and then it dips and it drops and I feel less inspired. I don't like my work as much, but then it, as long as I continue pursuing it and I continue prioritizing it, it, it comes back up. I, I find that pleasure again. I find that joy and I, I can continue growing and getting better. And yeah, I just, I, I just want to stay dedicated to the pursuit of enjoying artwork. So, so that's all to say the rest of this year will hopefully be for healing next year will hopefully be for lots of creativity and lots of painting and art. And of course it will be making art for the rest of this year too. I actually have several videos of paintings that I've done recently that I can't wait to show you guys. So please stay tuned. I will have new videos very soon, hopefully within a week. And um, yeah, that's it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go rest my voice and I'll see you guys next time.